Hey everybody, it's K-Ball here from Zerb. And it's Danny from Zerb. And welcome to this month's Responsive, Responsive Reading. Reading. We're really excited because we just launched Foundation Building Blocks. This is a library of coded UI components that you can just drop into any foundation project. And it got us thinking a lot about names. Yeah, naming is super important because the idea with these building blocks is you want to be able to put one, two, three, five, ten of them into a project and not have them collide with each other. So you need to name your CSS classes super carefully. And we know that's important because here at Zurb we have a lot of name clashes. We've got two Kevins, we've got three Johns at one point, it's down to two now. And I don't know what else we have. Yeah, we've got a ton. <laughs> so because of that, we've got nicknames. That's why I'm K-Ball, so I don't collide with Kevin. Let me tell you a little story about our Johns. So we had three Johns, right? And John, John, and John got really confusing. So, of course, they became Irish John, Veggie John, and Vegan John. But then Vegan John started eating meat, so he couldn't be Vegan John anymore, so he became John Cena. Veggie John started eating fish, though so far he's fended off the nickname of Pesky John instead of Veggie John, and Irish John moved back to Ireland, so now we're down to two Johns. There's more than this. The cameraman behind the camera there, his name is Nick, but we had two Nicks, and so he, his facial features got him nicknamed as Young Dimps. Young Dimps for his great dimples. You can now see that I dodged a bullet by getting out ahead of it and calling myself K-Ball, because I'm not Dimps, I'm not Pesky, I'm just K-Ball. Okay, let's uh, bring it back to building blocks here. Right, building blocks. So building blocks got us thinking a lot about names, and this is not a new problem in CSS. There's a ton of thinking about this. There's thinking about how you should name things, BEM, block element modifier, how you're naming your classes so that they don't collide, you have low specificity. There's also thinking about architecture, ITCSS, SMACs, all these different acronyms. Now, you may know all about them, we may know all about them, but I still find them confusing and I work in this stuff every day. So we've put together a list of all sorts of different articles about BEM, SMACs, ITCSS, everything you need to know about cutting edge CSS architecture and naming conventions. So whether you're new to this or a seasoned pro, you're gonna find these 10 links helpful to get up to speed, stay up to speed, and stay on the cutting edge. So check out the links there down below or up above, depends on where you are. Are you on Facebook? They're probably up above. Are you on YouTube? They're down below. You looking at this in the email? Also down below. Check them out! So that wraps up this month's responsive reading. We hope you enjoy those links below or above, and especially check out those foundation building blocks. And send us your unique nicknames. You have a better one than Young Dimps or Pesky John? I bet you do. See you next month. Ciao!